Moshe was speaking to the children of Yisrael, saying, Ye shall observe to do all the statutes and the ordinances which I set before you this day. Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 12. These are the statutes and the ordinances which ye shall observe to do in the land which Yahweh the God of thy fathers hath given thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall surely destroy all the places wherein the nations that ye shall dispossess served their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And ye shall break down their altars and dash in pieces their pillars and burn their asherim with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and ye shall destroy their name out of that place. Ye shall not do so to Yahweh your God, but to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even to his habitation shall ye seek, and thither thou shalt come. And thither ye shall bring your ascending offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and your vows, and your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herd, and of your flock. And there ye shall eat before Yahweh your God, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your hand to, ye and your households, wherein Yahweh thy God hath blessed thee. Ye shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes, for ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which Yahweh thy God giveth thee. But when ye go over the Jordan, and dwell in the land which Yahweh your God causeth you to inherit, and he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so that ye dwell in safety, then it shall be that to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your ascending offerings, and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows, which ye vow to Yahweh. And ye shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, ye and your sons and your daughters, and your men servants and your maid servants, and the Lewi that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no portion nor inheritance with you. Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy ascending offerings in every place that thou seest, but in the place which Yahweh shall choose in one of thy tribes. There thou shalt offer thy ascending offerings, and there thou shalt do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh within all thy gates, after all the desire of thy soul, according to the blessing of Yahweh thy God, which he hath given thee. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the gazelle and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood, Thou shalt pour it out upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy grain, or of thy new wine, or of thy oil, or the firstlings of thy herd, or of thy flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy freewill offerings, nor the heave offering of thy hand. 
but thou shalt eat them before Yahweh thy God in the place which Yahweh thy God shall choose, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the lewi that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before Yahweh thy God in all that thou puttest thy hand to. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the lewi as long as thou livest in thy land. When Yahweh thy God shall enlarge thy border as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul desireth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh after all the desire of thy soul. If the place which Yahweh thy God shall choose to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock, which Yahweh hath given thee, as I have commanded thee. And thou mayest eat within thy gates after all the desire of thy soul. Even as the gazelle and as the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat thereof. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the soul, and thou shalt not eat the soul with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it, thou shalt pour it out upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat it, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh. Only thy holy things which thou hast, and thy vows thou shalt take, and go to the place which Yahweh shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy ascending offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of Yahweh thy God, and the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of Yahweh thy God, and thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee for ever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the eyes of Yahweh thy God, when Yahweh thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest in to dispossess them, and thou dispossessest them, and dwellest in their land. Take heed to thyself, that thou be not ensnared to follow them, after when they are destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so to Yahweh thy God, for every abomination to Yahweh which he hateth have they done to their gods. For even their sons and their daughters do they burn in the fire to their gods. All the word which I command you, that shall ye observe to do. Thou shalt not add thereto nor diminish from it.